Well, hello, and welcome to the Stamp and Scoop Show, episode 95. Oh my God. We're getting old. Holy crap. <laughs> Five more, and we're going to hit 100. We need to find something exciting for the 100th episode. So, what do you guys think? What should we do for the 100th? Hmm. We're going to start planning that now. It's going to definitely, there's going to be a lot of giveaways, so... Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely going to be. Tell your friends. Yeah, it's going to be a big <laughs> prize patrol episode. So we got a little little ways to go there. Um, and thank you all who joined us early for the uh, pregame show. We had a lot of fun with okay, that. Quick rewind if you want to see some of the crazy stuff because it's going yeah, away. We'll be deleted done. after the show. So <laughs> that's just it's just fun to be able to have a little chat with you guys before we get started. So today, very exciting. It's the release of the second release. The second, yeah. Is that a thing? The <laughs> release of the second release. Yep. So Stampin' Up! had a bunch of limited edition products for Celebration that were released with Celebration on January 3rd. And today, they're releasing new products that you can get free with your order. So we're going to be playing with those today. I'm going to be making a shaker card. We've got some, you know, both Linda and I have both been stamping. Yes. I'm actually going to be doing some stamping, stamping on the today. show today. I normally, normally Linda's doing the stamping and I'm doing the, the wizard I'm behind. I'm too sore. Fixing, I got... the, fixing the, the, the video cameras. But today, oh, and here's and Spencer. Spencer. He's quite we clingy just today. Talking about how Spencer wanted to be on the on the pregame show, he was sitting in front of the lights. So he just came. He, I let him outside, and he just came back in. So I guess he really, really wants to be on the show today. Class four clinger today. Yeah, yeah you a, clinging today. Yeah, <laughs> he's a little snuggly today. Oh, oh, he's saying his piece. All right, we're back to the stamping now, pal. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have great prize patrols today. We're giving away three. Woohoo! Not one, not two, but three soft summer stamp sets. And these are hostess stamp sets. So these sets are hard to get. Um, you don't have to place a $150 order or have a friend to do so or have a bunch of friends that want to combine an order or do a workshop or a class or blah, blah, blah. But you can actually win them. <laughs> We're giving one away uh, live following this uh, Stamp and Scoop Show video if you're watching us live. And we are giving two more away on the next episode, which is 96. 96. So, so leave your comments, share away, tell your friends and family. We rock. No. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> we love you. We love it when you share. We have a lot of fun here and we love giving stuff away. Yes, we do. So uh, everybody's got a chance. And if you, yeah, if you share, be sure to type the word shared into the comments. So you get entered a second time into the replay drawing. And that means we have a winner from our last show, which this one's really late because we skipped an yeah. episode and we had the date on there as the last. So you had Sorry. some extra time yeah. to get into this one. It was a pop-up scrap-in and the My Meadow stamp set. And so uh, the winner of that is Jocelyn Zimmerman. Congratulations, Yay, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Um, and she won by leaving a comment on uh, one of our... And it can be if you're watching the replay on YouTube or yep. Facebook or if you're watching live on Facebook, doesn't matter. Leave a comment. They are all entered yep, into the replay. We collect them all. Time. So in uh, that... All of a sudden you see like share, 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 <laughs> share, 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 flipping up on all the and comments. we love you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> so uh, celebration, most wonderful time of the year. Whee! So uh, every fifty dollars you spend in our online store on Stamp on a Products, you get a free limited edition product, and, and we now have more. Now we have even products. more. And uh, when you join, which is even better than that, talk about free amounts. Oh free my amount gosh! Free. Right, this is like you get more free than it actually costs. Yeah. So if you have a ninety-nine dollar wish list, this is what you want to yep. do quickly because it's ending on yes. March thirty-first. And you don't want any of these uh, special freebies to sell out. Right. If the mini paper cutter, no, if, the paper if they pack. sell out or the paper pack sells out, they're gone. They won't. They you won't be able to get them. And wait. We're, so don't wait until the last no. minute. Wait till you see this paper cutter if you haven't seen it. Oh my God, we'll be using times, it. We'll be using it today. On. So cute. So adorable. So $99, you get to pick $125. So you get $26 free. You get free shipping. You get free paper pack. You get free mini paper cutter. You get the free, free stamp set of your choice. Make your wish list. Pick the most expensive stamp set. That's your free one. Then come up with your $125. Yep. So you get a paper pumpkin. You get a business pack. You get catalogs. And so can I note that you can pick one up? You can pick up. Sorry, Spencer <laughs> wants to be involved I, I have today. To put a pin in this because the dog is really clingy right now. And he's going right up her skirt. <laughs> he's like trying to climb up my leg. So, uh, dude, really? Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to stamp with you here. <laughs> Maybe really, Linda will be stamping. Really, I know right? under Tammy's instructions. There you go. There you go. Okay, so. 
I feel like I got a baby here, <laughs> a little toddler. <laughs> so get a baby Bjorn. <laughs> back to I know a little doggy Bjorn. So back to uh, this. This is something you can pick in a starter kit as part of your hundred and twenty-five dollars. This is gorgeous. Another thing just released this morning, and it is. Okay, hold on. It's the garden. ornate garden. I don't even know the name of it yet. I'm too busy ooing and awing at it. It is a what they call a mega suite. It's got two stamps, paper. Two sets of dies. There's some ribbon, a double pack of ribbon. I'm trying to remember what else. There's embossing folder, and there are some gems of some sort. <laughs> and you can order as a suite. You can order individual, which is something that people yes. often ask when there's a big bundle like this. So you don't have to. You don't have to get the whole suite, but no. if you do, there's a suite. There's yep. bundles. And and demonstrators can order this as of this morning, and demonstrators Ooh. ordering this on a regular demonstrator order form get celebration products with yeah. it for free. And they get a discount. If you would like, you can put these items in that awesome demonstrator kit that we just told you about. And then yep. you get freebies on top of that. You get the paper cut or the paper list of all of the free shipping. And all you get that to stuff. be a demonstrator. For and a then while. you get all the other and goodies that come discount. along with it and get a discount. So this is awesome. Um, we will be uh, definitely doing some more with this. And if you are a demonstrator or you get that demonstrator kit uh, in the next few weeks, we have a card swap that's open to all demonstrators for specifically for this suite of products, the Ornate Garden. And you can get more information on that on uh, either stampwithtammy.com or on the um, on my Facebook page. Yeah. So I have a sign up there. So everybody is welcome to participate in that swap. But the deadline to have the cards in hand is March 30th. So Linda and I, I don't know if we'll, we, I don't know if we'll be doing it live. We haven't, we haven't gotten that far yeah. yet. <laughs> we might be the doing it live. Needs we might, to work yeah. Out. yeah. So. That is the scoop there. And the scoop now, from the scoop. The scoop on the scoop. Which is, you know, this is what we're doing. We like to <laughs> let you guys know what's happening, but we definitely want to let you know when cool stuff is coming. Uh, so now it is time for the second release. Dun, 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 dun. So this was our brochure for the first release. Uh, this is the brochure for the second. We they both look, have these online on yes. our blogs. They do look very similar. So it's, you just got to pick out I, your, your excited person. So the long-haired redhead is your first release. The short, dark-haired <laughs> excited right. person is your second and, release. And she's got the more, more, more yes. on hers. So uh, we can actually open this up on camera now. We can show you what's inside. But we can do better than this because we are actually going to show you these products and stuff we have made with these products yeah. in addition to this so it also this is a nice feature that they have in the back here and they have um, a little thing of all of the celebration items but this is really Whoa. important really yes. really important celebration even though the date says March 31st it really only goes until products sell out and, and happens. it's happening it's happening the kerchief kit is out. wait wait ready kerchief oh, kit no! Boom. Oh no! Gone, <laughs> totally gone. And the sequins and the metal uh, metallic baker's twine gone, gone. Bye bye. So uh, pretty soon I'm gonna have a bingo card here <laughs> on what's left. <laughs> Just telling you now, these items may not last until March 31st. And I'm gonna give a huge heads up here. We'll get started with the paper. Yeah. Show you what the paper is. If you love this paper and yeah. you put it on your Absolutely. wish list, get it. First, yeah. get it first because I expect, especially the flowering foils. Yeah. After you see this in action, I expect this to sell out very Papers quickly. Papers go out for anything non-stamp. Stamp so related. a stamp because we do we, make our own yeah. stamps. All right, so what should we start with first? So very vellum. I'm, I'm sure we're not going in order. I'm just going in order of what was on top. So <laughs> <laughs> what was on top of the list? So this is the so very vellum, and it's a uh, beautiful. I, um, we are going to be playing with it today too. This is a level one. So, yep, for $50, and the colors are Pool Party, Purple Posy, and Soft Sea Foam. Diana was asking, is the first release over? I'm, no, there might have been a delay in the video, but I think maybe we just answered that. But just yeah. in case, no, everything except those ones that I just X'd off yes. um, are, are still available. For now. Yeah, that could it change, could change. I could change it momentarily. So, uh, we've got... So, these are six sheets... Two of each three colors. They are colored vellum sheets with embossed design. They all have the exact same embossed design. They're dots in a grid pattern. Um, 12 by 12, acid-free vellum. 
and we have used those in a few projects you'll see in a few minutes. Yep. So again, we'll be, pool party, uh, purple posy, and soft sea foam. And we will be uh, playing with it as well, as well as sharing some projects with that. Okay, so that is so very Vellum, level one. Bum, 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 bum. And we'll keep going with the paper. And this one is, this is the Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series paper. Let's back out just a hair here. These are rose gold and silver foil designs. Okay, wait, did you hear that? Rose, rose gold <laughs> and silver foil. Oh, They're more oh. rose than there is silver, I think. Yeah. Um, add color to the white areas using your favorite coloring tools. We have 12 sheets, three of each, four single sided so these designs. These are single sided. Uh, they're, I think this is a tad thicker than regular designer paper, but not as thick as cardstock. Correct. It's got uh, the silver and the rose gold foil. So there's three of this beautiful sheet. There's three of this beautiful sheet. And uh, it's white, but it can be colored, and we are going to yeah. show you that. Several different ways to color it. So there's three <laughs> of this one, which is silver. And three This one's of, so pretty. I love the little flowers. So that is the Flowering Foils Specialty Designer Series paper, free with a $50 purchase. Dun, 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 dun. All right. All right next, next up. Hold on. Yeah, turn turn the page. Order. Okay. Next is Well Dressed. This is a free with a $50 purchase, and it is eight clean sales. So this is a level one. Do we want to show? Yeah, sure. Okay. So I'll let Linda go on this one. This is one Linda just okay. just made. So I played with this with, to me, this screen stamparatus, this fun tie. Can we pull them in? Oh, I'm going to let you oh, control because yeah. I'll send it <laughs> crazy. So... I combined it with the uh, clubhouse paper and a few of the dots. Um, uh, enamel, are those enamels? The enamels, they're from last ones, last mm. year's, they carried over, I don't know, but they're blue. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I will go with enamel that. Dots. They're blue enamel dots. I'm not even sure if they're Night of Navy. I think they are Night of Navy. Um, and then I stamped this in the garden green. I used my stamparatus and I did the hinge step method going on down and then the black satin ribbon and then I this greeting is from I think well said and the uh tag shape is from lakeside dies I will tell you that lakeside die those two tag are worth your price of admission for that uh whole set but this is using the um for a good father's day masculine birthday anything I love the hat the shoes umbrella great Masculine. And so those are the level one yes. uh, stamp sets. And you may as well stay out for this one. Okay. Like it, then, uh, so next up, we have two level two. So the first one is... This is Rise and Shine. And this works with the... Oh, my God. Do you think the, I can remember the name? Oh, hold on. It's the Cup of Cheer Dies. Cup of Cheer Dies. Um, I matched this one with the Mosaic Madness um, paper. I'm trying to do all this from memory. I didn't write a thing down. I was more like yeah, trying to mosaic. make stuff. Boop, boop, boop. Mosaic. Um, my favorite part of this. So this is, um, photo reversible photopolymer. And it's one of our, we, we had a reversible set before, but this in is Christmas, one of our, in the uh, holiday catalog. Sorry. So this, these patterns here are reversible. Uh, helpful note. If you do get these, take them off, wash them both sides with Dawn detergent. Um, that will help get the, uh, what they use to kind of have them released from the pattern off because they can only clean one side in the warehouse. So just wash them well and then you're good. Um, so I used it um, here and I used, this is uh, from the Parisian dye to make the little steam from my cup of coffee and we've got the cute little saying. So that is rise and shine. That is with a hundred dollar purchase. So and this next one is also a hundred dollar. This next one is a level two as well. Bum, bum, and that bum. is tags and bloom. Tags and bloom. This one is so oh my gosh. so Having pretty. So much fun with this one. Um. So again, with hundred dollar, this one I mixed it with the vellum, and um, I fussy cut this large one out. Then I stamped. So with the punch, what's the punches that it? Okay, matches. so it matches. Oh, she's got. I even got them here. 
the label me fancy punch and the label me lovely punch. Yeah. So I so like I said, I fussy cut this whole thing out. Then I stand. We can yep. we can Go show for this it. now. Yeah, that's right. Here, <laughs> we, we, if, you know we can't show the inside of the catalog until. It goes live. Until it goes live. But since it goes live this morning, we are allowed to actually wow. share this now. So you can see that the the mat these Matches. were made to match and the and the words also fit. Yeah. Um so I then punched it again in the uh, purple posy paper and then uh stamped the greeting. Uh these dark colors are the blackberry bliss. So I paired the blackberry bliss with the purple posy. Um and then put the greeting on here. So, um, a card that I didn't think I was going to like, I ended up, it's my favorite of the three I made because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I was just going to just throw get together another one. So that's, we'll those. leave Jackson and Bloom out because we're going to do some stamping with it. Ooh. It's stamp time already. Yay! Yay! Love it's been stamp a long time. time since I stamped on the, on the scoop. So this is the Tags and Bloom. Linda just showed you that. I'm going to uh, make this really cute shaker card. And Yay! all of the cards that L Linda just shared and the ones that we're going to share uh, coming up. Uh, are all going to be on Linda in my blogs yes. on our resource page probably an hour after this video. Uh, we aren't we weren't good enough to get it out ahead yeah. of time. <laughs> Sorry for that, but they will be up, and this uh, will be up with a free PDF on yes. with all the measurements for this as for well. For that one card, for yeah. this one card. So uh, I created this. I was having too much fun with this. I really <laughs> felt like the tags and bloom set uh, goes with the Stamparatus. It just yeah. the way that um, <clears throat> the two, it's a two step stamper, and the way that it's set up, it was just made for this. So, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to take our uh, image panel here. The, this is the very top image panel. And I'm going to put it on the Stamparatus. This is the stamp positioning tool. And I'm using the magnets to hold it down. And then I'm going to take this frame. I'm going to line it up exactly where I want it on that piece. And then I'm going to take our, um, oh, plate. plate. Thank you. I was drawing a blank. It's not, it's not a block. So uh, I'm going to ink that up with Sahara sand. I wanted it to be light. Um, you know, a lot of times I'm, I'm a black or an espresso person. Oh, thank you. But I wanted this to be light. So I went with Sahara sand for our base color. I like for that this idea. One. So I'm going to stamp that down. Now this is why I really loved using the Stamparatus with this particular set. So the insert, if you you can color this with blends or uh, with other coloring things. I'm just gonna put, put something else under there so it's not Sorry, distracting. I know I was trying to find something. Do you have another block? Yeah, you know what? I've got a grid paper here. Put that maybe that. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna take the flower here on the top and this is actually two stamps connected together so if you are using this as a two-stepper it you don't need to do this two-stepper I feel two. like I should be dancing I know right round around it, you don't have to do this one in two um in two steps because you can actually do it in one so I'm flipping that uh over and I am looking for either wipes or my chamois because this is what <laughs> this is I'm going to give you a tip when you're using Stamparatus always wipe this excess if you get excess wipe it because what happens when i flip it i end up touching it with my hand and then i get Whip, messy yes. marks on my card and i do it every single time so now i'm <laughs> going to go down and pick that up now it's already lined up and we're gonna i'm gonna use uh pineapple punch on this one bright fun yellow and i have some very sad news about pineapple no, punch no. immediately following now this is gonna oh, be a little no. hard to see because there's a stamp on top of it but that's okay um, I'm going to stamp that down and we have it perfectly lined up and then I'm going to keep on moving, keep on going moving, moving, moving. and we're going to take the, another, the, this comes with two plates, but you can also get additional plates as well. And on this one, I'm going to put the insert to this flower. So that is just this little piece right here. We're going to line it up, pick that up. And Grapefruit Grove is going on this one. Ooh. So, grapefruit in the center. Now here's the, what I thought was super cool about this stamp set. Um, next is the leaves. And the way they design the leaves, 
they made these two pieces one. Oh, nice. And they made, I'm sorry, these two pieces one, and then this was all one. So they're not all individual little pieces. So that makes it really, really easy to stamp with this. You know, like when you sometimes if you do a two stepper and they have a lot of pieces, it's, it, you know, it can be a little time consuming when you're stamping all the pieces. But what now what I'm doing is I'm taking the, the two leaf. I'm having a hard time getting it to stay. I need my take your pick. Yep. Yeah, it likes to stick to it's your finger sometimes. To my finger. I like that yeah. it's sticky, but I want it to stay in place. Okay. Yeah. So I've got both of the leaf dies out. I'm going to flip this over. So we have a fresh plate here. And we're going to pick that up and granny apple green on those. And down we go. That was not my best lineup job, but <laughs> you, guys get the, you guys get the idea, right? We're just going to keep yeah. rolling with it. Okay, so our image is stamped. It's quick and easy. Those are some tips for the Stamparatus. And... Then the next step, we are going to take, remember the, st the stamp had matching punches? I'm taking the Label Me Lovely Punch. And we're going to punch out the center. So this one, it looks like this. It's called Label Me Lovely. I love how that big right that punch I know, and it, it, there's so many words that can fit yeah. in this large space. So I am actually, instead of making a tag to layer, I am cutting out a window. So just lining that up to cut out the window. You could use this piece for another another project. Nice. And then we are going to take a window sheet and attach it to the back. And I'm just going to use some snail adhesive for that. So I'm going to go ahead and put some snail adhesive. And again, all of these measurements will be on uh, our the free PDF for this particular card. Um, about an hour after this episode so you can get them on both both of our blogs and uh, if you're watching the replay it will be live by the time the replay goes up and you will be able to um, download the free PDF okay so I'm taking a foam strip we do have these in our online store and I am just wrapping it around instead of going in a square I'm literally just wrapping it kind of around the outside of that that's cool how bendable it is yeah and I found it's actually better because if you do a square, the little sequins yeah. get kind of stuck in little places you don't really want them to be stuck in. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep going with that. Go all the way up. Uh, one, I'm, I'm actually just going to keep going here because, um, I mean with the, the foam strip because that, I want it to all be the same height. So I'll just put another little piece up here. There you go. Yeah. The foam strips are a tiny bit taller than the regular dimensionals. And it's still okay. Yeah. It would still work out okay. But since I have this out, we'll just go ahead and continue with the foam strip. And then we're going to take the iridescent sequin assortment. Now, if you were lucky enough to get the uh, Baker's Twine and sequin assortment that was available for Stampin' Up! before that sold out, you might want to use that on this. Um, but if you were not lucky enough or you've used yours all, uh, you can substitute this iridescent sequin assortment and just place some of those beautiful little sequins right in the middle. As many as you'd like. I love those colors. They're I so know. springy. I'm and they so go excited so for well. And then uh -huh. I have a backing. I just put that backing right over so the sequins stay. They don't pop out. And then we are going to go ahead and assemble the card. Actually, oh crap. <laughs> I knew I was going to forget this. That's okay. I knew I was going to forget. You know what? I'm going without it. Go for it. Um, before putting the sequins in the in the the um uh. I meant to stamp on the front, but we're just gonna go without the stamp. So on this one I stamped with stays on <laughs> the I miss your face, but I was gonna stamp uh on this one I was gonna stamp wishing you the best because it could this could go for a lot of occasions, but we're just gonna leave it since I already went without it. And then I'm gonna take Been some. Done that. Yep, I know, right? Raise Have... your hands. Done that. <laughs> Haven't we all? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and Assemble the rest of the card, put the pieces together here, and I'm going to put some snail on the back of that uh, panel that we had used to close off the sequins. And that layers, it should layer if I've got it lined up perfectly. And 
If I don't, I'm a dork. <laughs> I don't. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. What? No, so I didn't cut them the right size, but that's okay. We're just going to keep going. We're not going to have that as a backing. That's fine. It doesn't yeah. need it. It doesn't need it. Um, you know what? I can adapt to anything. <laughs> <laughs> I really can. So Everyone put your hand up if you've done that too. Have you forgotten to stamp and cut them the wrong I, size? I, and At this point, yeah. So uh, we're going to take this panel and stick it down on this beautiful panel of So Very Vellum. Some people are saying, again, stuff is a little fuzzy. I know, so I'm watching it on my phone as well. Log out and try to log back in. If not, uh, the replay should be better. Sometimes the lives can get a little funky. Yeah, and it all has to do with connection on your end or yeah. on our end. Sometimes it's on yeah. both. And then yeah, it... but so I, from what reason... I see, I'm, I'm good watching it on my phone. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing fuzzy on my yeah. The reason why I put this on before I, I attached it to the card is because the... Any type of vellum, when you put adhesive on the back, it's going to show through. So I wanted to have this on already so I know exactly where to attach ah, the vellum. I mean, where to attach the snail adhesive so that it doesn't show through. So I'm hiding it behind that panel, and I'm just going to go ahead and attach The this other one good down. thing to know is that the adhesive comes off the vellum very easily when you screw it up because I did that on my, my card. Mm. I put it in the wrong corner. Because I didn't put it down first. Sherry's saying, just stamp on the window on the outside. Actually, I did stamp on the window on the outside. I think but she's saying now, be but... Because it's, it's already raised up when I stamp on it, it's not, not, it's, not going to get a good, good image. She might. It's she okay. might not. It's all right, though. Murphy's Law yeah. going live. We're just going to go good. We're just gonna go ahead. <laughs> and you know what else I forgot is the ribbon. <laughs> Once you forget one, you're just on a roll, right? Yep. It's just at that point, you're just like, it's oh, okay. It. It's this is good. how like, you come is, up with a new design. <laughs> this is how I teach you how to improvise. This is what, the, this is what I excel in. <laughs> how to recover from your mistakes. Okay, so I'm gently peeling that up, placing this beautiful daffodil roused ribbon around. I'm going to tie it ruched. a little now. Is that what it's? Ruched. ruched. I call it ruch. Ruched ribbon. And I'm going to tie that in a little knot. And trim it off. Okay, so because I have gotten to this point, I would probably take a small word, like sending hugs, maybe, and stamp it like right here or right there or something just to have a little or put a little tag on it. Yeah. So, do a little tag. but the main part is this is how, this is how the, uh, oh yeah, right? <laughs> I did pre stamp these. And these are, uh, it's part of the, the, the this little flower right here in the tags and bloom. So and then what, fussy cut them? I just, no, no. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, I did. I fussy cut those. No, oh, yes. <laughs> Wait, yes. So then I'm just going to go ahead and attach those with dimensionals. Actually, that does pull it all together. You could always stamp and then punch a tag yep. and stick that and maybe over the here tag or something. Over yep. And I'm going to show you some tag tricks coming up next. Okay, so that is the shaker card. Again, measurements and the supply list for the shaker card will be on our blogs in about an hour for free PDF. But wait, wait, wait. We're not done. We are not done. Do you remember that beautiful festival? All of it's pretty. Yeah. No, 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 hold it's on. I'll forget the name. Foils. I'm Fe it's not festive foils. Flowering it's foils. foils. Specialty designer so, series paper. This beautiful flowering foils with rose gold. <gasps> Love me some rose gold. Okay. So I put together a couple of cards with that. This one here, I used the rectangle dies to cut out some silver backing. And um, I cut out just a panel. I did nothing else to it. And then I embossed some words and punched them out with the Label Me Lovely punch that coordinates with this set. And I'm going to show you how I made this really quick, cool tag that has this highlighting reveal of silver foil behind it. And so what I did was I embossed Wishing You the Best in Silver and punched it out with the, the Label Me Lovely punch that coordinates with this uh, stamp set. And then I also punched out a piece in silver foil. And then look at this. Oh my God, I love 
practicing. Okay, so uh, this is, remember we told you that, that we would show you the little paper cutter? So this here is the mini paper trimmer that uh, you can get free in the demonstrator kit, and it is the only way to get this little paper trimmer right now. Uh, if you were a demo, you were able to pre-order it uh, back in December. And uh, anyways, I'm going to cut this tag right in half. So I have two pieces. I love this little guy. It's worth joining just for that. It is. <laughs> so then I'm going to take this tag and put snail adhesive on the top and bottom. This is just a quick, fun uh, layering technique for the tags. And then I'm just going to line it up line the, the piece up and you want to make sure that it's lined up perfectly so you don't see any of the edging on the side here and line it up with the bottom and so this is wishing you the best is from the tags and bloom uh stamp set which is brand new today from celebration and then we're also using the flowering foils designer series paper for the background I and love then, that. Look how simple that is and this gorgeous. This is simple, but you could step it up <gasps> by taking the flowering foils designer paper, right? It comes like this. And I'm just going to steal some grid paper. And some sponge dabas. We'll take these little, these little fun guys, and we're all going to be lefties today. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, to start with, I'm going to take some Grapefruit Grove and some pineapple punch and a little bit of um, lovely lipstick and some granny apple green. And you know what? I'm gonna put a pin in this right now because I wanna tell you some sad news. Oh no, I don't like sad news. Yes, everything but the, the granny apple green. So we have pineapple punch, grapefruit grove, lovely lipstick, all three of these colors are retiring in the next couple. <gasps> actually, actually, probably some of the products after next month will be gone forever. Yeah. So I'm just going to throw this out here really quickly. These are retiring from the new, from the old in color collection. Every year we introduce five new colors with the new catalog in June and we are retiring five colors that are two years old. So if they're trendy colors and they come around. If you love anything in these colors, I cannot stress enough to get it now before the retiring list is announced in April because when that list comes out, bye bye. Ink pad refills, ink pads, paper, Gone. embellishments, and these colors will sell out very, very quickly. So do it now. Budget it now. Do it now before that happens and do it while celebration is happening so you can get yes, this free is the celebration best time products. to stock up on that paper and ink, especially re inkers. So I'm taking the, the Grapefruit Grove. I'm going to just rub the very top piece off there. So it's a, a bit of ink. So it's a little bit lighter. And I'm going to go ahead and do the larger flowers. It's already beautiful. Boom. That's all oh, I need to that's do. That's right? all you need to do. That's right all, there. That's all. That's it. And then I'm going to take some of that granny apple green and do some leaves. And my goal here with the sponge dauber is not uh, to go in the lines. <laughs> that's not my goal. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to use them as a guide, certainly, but this is more of a, is it Monet? Monet abstract. Yes. You it's, know. It's more of a watercoloring. It's not watercoloring, but. Stunning. Look how simple that was. And I'm going to keep going. <gasps> but no. wait, there's more. I mean, you can end it there. Or you can take some of that lovely Ooh. lipstick. And I'm going to blend that in a minute. That's so pretty. Just right in there. Who and knew? then, but wait, there's <gasps> more. Pineapple punch. Oh. I'm going to rub it right over. And like I said, I'm going to blend that. Boom. Wow. Look at that. It just pops. You can also color. Um, I just hit the grapefruit growth. <laughs> It's going to be All really right, raise your hands if you've done that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am just like on a roll today. Ooh, on a roll. I just did it again. You know what? We're just going ahead. We're going with it. Anyways, uh, Kathy, it wasn't going to be a yellow background, but no. Yeah. The live cutout. Nice. Yes, the bottom flowers on that card that Tammy showed, she did fussy cut them. Here, let me show you. I took a second and I stamped. Oh, I love it. The <laughs> smallest greeting in I the lipstick. It. And then and I the, punched she... it out with this, but I punched it out this way and stuck it under. So I, I 
I'm a master. And there at we go. Fixing. That's why you watch, Oopsies. right? So you can learn how to fix your mistakes. <laughs> Anywho, so now we were gonna have a yellow background, but now we have an orange Look at that. Uh, background. And if I had done it correctly, <laughs> not that there's a right or wrong way, this is what I came up with. Um, this time using copper um, for, as the the foil instead of the silver with the plain one that I used. We could use copper on either one. Embossing in copper and the same exact tag technique here. So I'll show you that. That the is first one. So up. here is th awesome. this one's plain and this one is just with some sponge daubers. I love it. And then, but oh wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is another uh, little piece of that uh, flowering foils designer series paper. And at this time, do, I'm do, going do. to use sponge <gasps> prayers. We don't use these enough. No, we don't. I and love I don't, them. I'm gonna, I don't need green for this one. I'm just going to use these. These, uh, you know what? The thing is, I was. I just want to use these colors before they go away. <laughs> I'm so sad that they're going. So for this, I'm going to take and I'll start with the lightest. And we're going to go ahead and roll it out. Wow. Whenever I have a big surface, these sponge brayers, I think, cover it nicely. If I have a smaller surface, I'd use a regular sponge or the sponge daubers. Actually, I prefer the sponge daubers most of the time. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for that extra hand. Don't we all wish we had an extra hand? <laughs> now here, and I'm just going to show you. Do you see how I'm kind of moving it around a little? I don't want to do a straight line there because the straight line will show. So I've just stepped up to the next darker color, which is the Grapefruit Grove. That the wonky move, like what we need a, oh, well, a, little a name wonky move. for yeah. that technique. I know. That's a, Tammy's, wonky, <laughs> Tammy's wonky technique. And so what that did was it created a little bit of a, a blend here so you don't get a line. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm like failing oh, you. that's okay. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to go into lovely lipstick. Do the same thing so it's not a straight straight line there and it blends nicely and you can add if you want it darker you can add more layering with the colors you can just keep going over and over it until it is the color that you That's want pretty. it to be do, do, do. And so we have just a beautiful blend here ombre blend of a lovely lipstick great it looks grow. like some of the pictures you take of your sunsets yeah, a little bit yeah you know? yeah it does and uh, I'm going to go one step further here and I'm going to do something funky with the tag. So I've just gone ahead and embossed the word sending hugs and that is from that Tags and Bloom stamp set as well. And then the Label Me Fancy Punch, the same one Linda just used to recover my, <laughs> my baboosh. And we're going to punch out the uh, sending hugs. And then... I'm going to take this. This punch has this little knot right here. I love that. I know, right? Sneaky. I'm like, genius. So I am going to, and I'm doing this upside down so I can see exactly where that is being punched. I'm going to go ahead and punch that. Okay. <gasps> now, oh, wait, bum, it gets bum, better. Bum. That daffodil roush, daffodil ribbon, because I'm using the same color on all of these cards. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. And I'll cut. No. Oh. What's that? Maybe not quite a foot. That's a foot? A foot. Like 12 inches? Is that 12? No, maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe a little bit less. We, we'll oh see, my God. We'll see how much really? that, Yeah, we'll <laughs> see how much we need because, oh, wait. So I'm going to pull that up. Can you, can you guys see that? Do you want me to zoom in a little bit here? <laughs> I'll zoom in a little bit here. Okay. And then I'm going to string it through again. All right, this is a new one. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of made it up. Maybe somebody else. <laughs> maybe somebody else has done it. You know what? Before I do that, I'm pulling that right back out again. Huh? Um, if somebody else has done it, I haven't seen it. But I just thought, oh my gosh, this is this is kind of fun. So I'm taking some snail adhesive so it holds. Ah, uh, good idea. All right. See, we back even to... figure things out <laughs> along the way. Like it's hey. true. It's true. I mean, I wish. I wish you know, like Rachel can just sit down. You guys watch Rachel the Stamper? She's freaking amazing, yeah. right? She can just sit down and just boom. <laughs> she's got stuff in front of her and she's like, boom. She comes up with these beautiful, beautiful things. I can't do that. But I, I do that, but then it's like a four hour thing. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> I gotta play with it. Okay, so I probably didn't need a foot. I'm gonna take tell it you apart. probably about six inches of this was probably all we needed. Okay. So what I did was I just wrapped it around three times. 
Is that a challenge? Oh, there's things going on over there. <laughs> and so I need a little bit of snow on the back of this too to hold it steady. And we've got oh, a funky like little that. tag. That's cool. And when you put that together with this, through the magic of <laughs> through the magic Oops. of video, we've got a little silver foil backing. Uh, we've attached it. Done the same thing here um, that we did with the other tags, except I only did it on one side here instead of on both sides. And so. That is just one more. And you can also color this paper with Stampin' Blends, yes, Stampin' Rights. I also had one more little thing here. I fussy cut out one of those flowers Ooh. from the, the flowering foils. And <gasps> I just thought, how cool would oh that God. look if you popped it up and put it on there? Oh, my God. That's awesome. And, and even if you wanted it to pop out of one of these, you could even put it on one of these as well. Ooh. So just some other ideas there with the flowering foils. These are uh, a couple of cards. Linda's got a card there, too. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some. And again, all of these cards will be uh, on our blog, and we'll have a free PDF for the one that I just made uh, about, I don't know, give us about an hour if you're, watching, if you're watching live. And if you're watching the replay, it's probably already up there. And these are all products from the brand new second release of Celebration, which will only be available until March 31st, free with orders, or until they sell out. Yeah. And you can get more information on all of that on Linda's Crafty Stampin.com blog or on my Stamp with Tammy.com blog. Oh, look at there go the hearts. Boom, oh, boom, we boom, love boom. you guys. <laughs> love it. <laughs> love the heart fountain. Well, I Thank hope you. you guys have enjoyed our projects today <laughs> and our little peek at what's happening. You can get all of these projects free and products free <laughs> in our online store. <laughs> And uh, Linda and I will be back uh, in two weeks. Two weeks, in yes. two weeks. And uh, we'll, we'll be having some more fun then. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us today. Bye.